Hey everybody, it's Mother Goose 27 and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the brood of the Naga Queens. I am so excited you guys. This this is it. This is the Snake Men, how they deserve to be a flushed out faction. Y'all know me. I love the Snake Men. My most popular video on my channel is about the Snake Men. Like I have put so much time and effort into just like researching everything we possibly could know about the snake men just to find even little little tidbits of information to try and like put together what this faction really is and the creators of this fan project have done amazing like obviously they had to fill in a lot of gaps but genuinely they did it in a way that made sense with everything we actually do know about them and yes some things are different here and there it's not all exactly the same but really the information we did know was barely anything these creators have done absolutely amazing so first let's give some credit where credit is due so i'm just going to read this off a list because i don't want to miss anybody so it's 47 king kong wrong he is the concept and army roster writer and logo designer x blood raven a lore writer Kobol Yu, or Fur Furious Ming, is a concept artist. And Royo Yu Chen, another concept artist. And all of them will be linked below. I'm really sorry if I pronounced anything incorrectly. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I am absolutely in love with this project. So if you guys want an in-depth look look at everything their website is going to be in the link below i'm also going to link the italian spartacus video where he just looks at everything because that's that's not really what i'm going to be doing today today i want to give you guys just a quick summary of it kind of like an intro to the project if that makes sense so what they've done is they have they have detailed the lore from really the beginning to the end they really fill in the gaps here so a big unknown of the Snake Men is how they really came about. There were several different theories, which I talk about in my video linked here or here. I don't know what side it's going to be on because I think it might flip. It's on one of these sides. But the Brood of the Naga Queens gives a very clear origin story. They, like the Lizardmen, were cold-blooded creations of the Old Ones. The Old Ones realized, hey, this is kind of a failed project and they abandoned the snake men. And at first the snake men were kind of just like, hey, we should prove ourselves. But over time they grew this hatred for the old ones and a hatred for the lizard men and the hatred for the newer warm blooded races. And they began to experiment on them and they be began to experiment with warp stone and they began to experiment with gates to the realms of chaos. And when the old ones realized this, they told the lizard men to just wipe them out. Just take them all out but at the same time that's when the first chaos invasion happened and all the lizard men had to send their troops back to protect their temples the snake men viewed this as an opportunity they viewed the chaos demons as their greatest rival but as an ally during that time and when the chaos realm was repelled the snake men gave a big sigh of relief as they could continue their plan and such they did they just continued working on their experiments they had run-ins with the lizard men with humans uh, elves they hated really everyone and they they wanted to conquer the world basically they also viewed the skaven as rivals but they never really invaded the skaven because both races valued warp stone which created an opportunity for trade hello azula hi honey something really interesting that they came up with that i wanted to point out was they got their own god and they viewed it as their own collective like all all of their collective hopes and their devious intentions combined in the chaos realm to fil form their own god named nagendra i believe nagendra is how it's pronounced but basically it's a giant s snake it's their god and something i really really love on top of that was the connection to sotek because obviously the snake man had their god snake and Sotek came around to wipe out the Skaven. Very, very simplistic version of the lore there, but 
once the snake men learned about it, there was kind of this um, unrest within the snake men, as in, they also have a snake god. Is there some, and the lizard men felt this too, is there some, is there still some connection between us that neither of them really wanted to admit and never really went, spoke, never really was spoken about, and, and when they final chaos invasion started the snake men also invaded the world i don't know this was just a very very simplistic summary of their lore uh mostly what i wanted to talk about was just how excited i am for this and how genuinely i think this if this is done correctly and if the if the community is excited about it could open the doors to seeing them in total war warhammer 3 yes right now as I said in my past video, the chances are really, really low. There's not a lot of lore for them. There's very few established units. It's not impossible. We've seen things like Norska and the Vampire Coast come in to play, so it's not impossible, but generally it's really low with, compared to what we have left. My whole point to this is, if there's, if there's enough excitement surrounding the community, this could actually lead to us getting them in the game or potentially having them at least modded into the game. If there's enough lore, if there's enough units, modders, I mean, they don't, modders can do whatever they want. They don't need established lore, but with this, they could create something amazing. Now, so far, there's only one unit available that they've announced basically I'm, I'm phrasing it weird it's the sarpa warrior these are basically just the most common units the backbone of the snake men army these to me sound like the source warriors potentially obviously there's the naga blood queens or something i wanted to talk about is apparently in their lore there's only there is only 12 surviving and each of them has their own brood i believe i might have misunderstood what i was reading but that's what it sounded like to me and anyway i wanted to keep this video short there's just so much to it but this is really amazing you guys like i could not be happier with this fan pod project i honestly went in like kind of uh because some fan projects suck i'm I'm just being honest, and I was a little worried about this, but this is actually a quality project that has had a lot of thought and time and effort put into it, and definitely keep your eyes open for it. And again, just if you want to see the Snake Men in Total War Warhammer 3, just support this project, support other creators who are making Snake Men content, <laughs> not that there's a lot of us, and make content yourself on the reddit on youtube tiktok twitter spread the word let's at least show ca that we are excited about this faction doesn't mean it's gonna happen but if they think nobody's interested in it and nobody wants to see it they're not gonna do it that's all for today i know this is kind of just a weird video but i just had to vomit my thoughts out at you guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to join the flock, and I will see you in the next one. Mother Goose out.